Good morning. My name is Grace Sears, and I'm a nutrition educator through Southern University. Today, we're going to talk about things that we need to know. We're going to uh, go through our Facebook Live series, and I would like to welcome you to our series for 2021. Today, we're also going to talk about handy portions. Take portion control into your hand. What is portion control? Portion control means choosing a healthy amount of certain foods. Portion control helps you get the benefits of the nutrients in foods without overeating. When it comes to eating well, how much you eat can be just as important as what you eat. The wrong size can let added calories slip into your diet making it harder to manage your weight. Most people are likely to eat what's on their plate, but plate size and portion size has increased over the past 20 years, causing many to eat more than they realize. When, it when it's time to choose your serving size, turn to the handy tool for portion control. Important facts. Portion control can be tricky. It's not easy to visualize three ounces or two tablespoons. So let's use our hand and this guy to measure your food. We can take one little fingertip, which stands as one teaspoon, and we can measure our butter, our margarines, our mayonnaise, or our oils. We can take one thumb, which measures one to two teaspoons, and we can measure our peanut butter, our hard cheese, our salad dressings, our sour cream, my cream cheese. We also can take one whole handful, which is one, two ounces, which can measure our nuts, our pretzels, and our crackers. We always know the fact that a palm, our palm equals three to four ounces. We can take that and measure our meat, our fish, our poultry, our pasta, our potatoes or our cooked vegetables. We could also take a fist, just one fist and measure it as a cup. We could measure our fresh fruit, our raw vegetables, our salads, our cereals, and our soups. Did you know there are several ways to keep portion a healthy size? We can measure accurately, not over measure, learn how to estimate our serving size, use portion control dishware, Dish out your serving separately instead of just scooping up a big old scoop of potatoes, a big old scoop of rice. Let's serve them out separately. Make your own single serving packs. When you're on the way to go to lunch or to work, instead of taking the whole big bag of potato chips, take your snack bag and put a portion size in that snack bag. Okay, when we drink our coffee, we always just pour the coffee now, then we add a little milk. Let's try to do it different. Let's add the coffee first, then milk and we'll have less calories. Measure our oils carefully. Don't just take your bottle and put the oil into whatever you're using oil in. Measure it. And remember the, the uh, hand. Remember about the tip of your finger. Control our portions when eating out. I'm going to a fast food restaurant. That's not eat. Get a big old large plate and fill it up just because it's there and just because it's safe. Uh, all you can eat. Let's measure in portion sizes, and we will be able to maintain our calories. We also need to use smaller dinnerware. Like I said, instead of a big old plate, let's get a saucer or a smaller plate. Use your plate as a portion guide. Put the food on that plate only that that plate can hold and not a great big old plate, and I'm guaranteed that you will be full. Use your hand as a serving guide. And I showed you how to use your hand as a serving guide. Ask for half portions when eating out. Instead of eating a whole baked potato, ask for a half a baked potato or either a half a order of french fries. Start all meals with a glass of water. And can you imagine why we need to do that? Because water fills us up and that we will have a lot of room for a lot of unnecessary high calorie foods. Take it slowly, eat slowly. The slower you eat, the more you enjoy your food and the more more nutrition it will be to your body. Don't eat straight from the container. They come to that potato chip bag. 
Don't just stick your hand in there and just eat chip after chip after chip because you're going to overeat, okay? Our lesson review, okay? We're talking about eating portion control and whether we can lose weight. Yes, you can lose weight on portion control. Using portion control as a lifestyle, not just as a diet. Portion control can help you lose weight and keep weight up. And it's all part of the process of controlling what foods you eat when eat, clean eating. Using portion control as a primary healthy eating strategy allows you to eat almost any food while keeping calories in check. And the calorie savings are significant. Normalizing portion can reduce calorie intake by almost one third, about 527 calories per day, according to our study. What a correct portion size. For vegetables, it's two to three cups. Fruits, one and a half to two cups. Grains, five to eight ounces. Dairy, three cups. Protein, five to six and a half ounces or five to seven teaspoons. People also ask, are portion sizes, service sizes the same thing? Portion is how much food you choose to eat at one time whether in a restaurant, from a package, or in your own kitchen. A portion is 100% under our control. So we control what we eat. Many people that, many foods that come as a single portion contains multiple servings. Serving size is the amount of food listed on the product's nutritional fat label. What is considered a serving size? A serving size is a measured amount of food, one cup, one slice, one teaspoon, etc. It's the amount you'll see on the food label, and it's what the USDA use in the healthy eating guidelines and daily recommendation. Food label serving sizes are determined by the manufacturers, so they might not match the dietary guideline. Now, after learning more about handy portions, I challenge you to try these five tips to control portion size and to eat the right amount during meals and snacks. Use a smaller plate or bowl. Use a salad plate rather than a dinner plate. Your plate will be fuller and the smaller portions will look larger. See what you're eating. Portion foods onto plates or in bowls rather than eating directly from the box or bag or container. Seeing the food in a dish gives you a visual clue of how much you're actually eating. Stop eating when you feel full. Don't think you have to eat it just because it's on your plate. Don't feel obligated to clean your plate. Serve smaller portions. You'll waste less food if you serve yourself less to begin with. Take more if you're still hungry. Limit distractions. Focus on your food when you're eating meals, the computer, TV, cell phone, books and magazines can take our attention away from the meal, causing us to pay less attention when we're eating. Then again, my name is Grace Sears and I am working the parish East and West Care Parish, but feel free if you need anything, from me to uh, email me at grace underscore siggers at suxcenter.com. And thank you again for joining our Facebook Live Series 3.